Good morning, Brian and Aaron here from Five to Go. And uh, you might notice from all these things behind us, we are actually at Cruise America, but we are not here to rent an RV. Nope. One of our viewers, Greg, uh, put an awesome comment on one of our recent videos about you know going and looking at Cruise America because they sell their RVs after they've been driven for a while. So of course, like looking at rental cars and stuff like that, we're all like, uh, you know, how hard have they been driven? Right. How hard have they been used? Have they been abused? So we came up here, we're at the Denver Federal Heights location, uh, right next to a really loud road. <laughs> um, we came up here to talk to Joe and he kind of gave us the lowdown on uh, what the deal is with these coaches. Mm -hmm. And these are not normal RVs. No. I did not know that. They have so many upgrades yeah. before they even put them out and then they're maintained the whole time that they're on the road and so if anything comes in and there's an issue they're getting checked out. If they're yeah. they, they get oil changes regularly they're getting all kinds of maintenance and so is that they stay um, on top of the tires like right. the tires on this one here that's for sale are less than two years old mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. and then they they don't have ladders so people can't get up on the roof and start messing with things right. and there's a lot of nice little extra extras in these units right. so we're going to go ahead and take you through their model 28a it's a 428a it's uh just shy of 30 feet and uh, we're going to head over in here one thing i do like you you're seeing these ones back here with all these graphics y'all have seen these driving around all over the country mm -hmm. but check these ones out when they come in they take the graphics off they repaint them they redo all of the seals and then they put very minimal we're gonna go in that one right there. They put very minimal like swoops and graphics on them. So they look, I think it looks pretty sharp. It's really nice. Yeah. yeah, so let's go ahead and pop over into this one right here and we'll kind of walk you through everything that Joe pointed out to us. All right, so like I said, this is a Thor 28A. It is on the E450 chassis. So this will tow north of 5,000 pounds, yep. which is plenty for, for our car. Uh, look how so, sparkly the swoops are. Yeah, so all the swoops, <laughs> what's really nice is um, we've looked at a lot of used rigs and they're always sun faded and there's always, the graphics are always peeling off and chipping and being funky. So these are brand new, like they pull their graphics off, they paint and they put new swoops on. So whether you like the swoops or not, at least they're clean, right? right? So one thing that Joe pointed out to us is they don't have the little automatic steps down here. Right. What they do is they order them with the beefier steps on the inside and they add this really heavy duty grab handle that is like bolted into the side of the, the frame of the coach. So that is really nice. That is nice. And he did mention, and a couple other people, the private owners have mentioned this, that they've hit those under um, steps on curbs and things. And so I was like, oh, do we really need those? Yep. Uh, so this is much nicer. Yeah, because if you think about it, the, the little power steps that they hang down like this far. So if you're coming into like a curb or you turn a corner too tight, you're going to hit that unit and it's just right. going to bust off. And back here, Another more of the sparkling swoops. Yep. So yeah. we're gonna go, we can go around the back and oh, get a better yeah. look in here. So this is the side compartment, or the rear compartment actually. Yep. So it comes with a full size spare. These two are compartments. And then this one is actually a picnic table that you can take out and set up and camp. Oh, nice. And then it's lit back here. There's two huge lights back here with a big beefy switch over there. Yep. Uh, that's a class three hitch on the back. I do like that the bumper is, I like the big white bumper. I don't know why. Yeah. It's it's nice. And everything is very Clean. very well maintained. It's just yeah. I was expecting these things to be kind of rough and ready to go. You Not know? at all. This is super clean. Uh we've got some inlets here, we've got a storage compartment here, gas goes here, we've got shore power hookup over here, outside of the hot water heater, and then we've got sewer hookups down here everything looks real good there's a sewer hose storage tube right there and then that one i don't remember what he said that one was no, it's not open. and then they all come with four kilowatt owning generators which is nice mm -hmm. and the generators are serviced just like the rvs right. nice big beefy mirrors with the convex mirror right. and the one on the other side isn't broken Yes. Like all of the other used ones we've at. Yep, the right one is not broken. <laughs> and just to prove it, there you go. But it has not been broken. It has been hit. It has been, been has kissed been a bit. A little scuffed, <laughs> yeah. All right, let's go ahead and head inside. So we're going to go up these beefy steps. 
Oh, the compartment on the other side. Oh, what it's was it? It's the batteries. Oh, that's where the batteries right, are. Right, because normally, normally batteries are under here. They actually have them on the other side. So, like I said, big beefy grab handle. And we've got a uh, fire extinguisher right there, which is nice. Uh, one thing it looks on. like they've added, there's a lot of floor lights. Floor lights? So there's a floor light here by the door. There's floor light right there by Aaron's feet. Oh, yeah. And I believe... It's half light. There's a little floor light down there in the bathroom. And then the switch for the floor lights was okay, here. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So okay. you hit that switch and these... So nice. it's kind of like nighttime lights. That's really nice. Yeah. Um, let's just start back here. You want to start back and go yeah. forward? So uh, instead of having the crazy shades that can get broken, or the blinds that can get broken, they have just these um, curtains that have Velcro. And... And they built these like wooden rails. Yeah, so they just slide on rails that are pretty sturdy. Yep. And then it's kind of like a, it's kind of a blackout. almost blackout shade. Yeah. Um, and all the windows have these, but they're really easy to just use. And they're, they're in really good condition. It's like a canvas. I think um, all the fabrics are put on new when they come back in for sale. You think so? I think so. Hmm. I mean, just if you just look at the quality of them. Yeah. Like the, we'll, we'll talk about the seat cushions in a minute, but I mean, the seat cushions are immaculate. So all of the things that they kind of upgrade or change, they do because it's going to be used over and over and over again by people that, you know, they're just renting things. Yeah. Um, you don't own it. You don't really care for right. it most of the time. And so there's a lot of things that are um, a lot more sturdy, a lot more like heavy duty grade. Uh, this does have like a brand new mattress in it, but they wrap it in this like vinyl stuff. Yeah, it's really thick. For rental. Um, Cabinets but are huge. Cabinets are enormous. Yeah. And then you have these drawers, and then there's a space over there that, like, Brian and I would have to switch sleeping sides, and he could put his CPAP right there with yep. no problem. No problem. There's a plug in the corner and everything. Right. So there's more curtains on that side. Mm -hmm. There's no window in the back. Nope. Which is okay. There's also I'm... no window in the front. We'll talk about why. Oh, one thing I oh. really like. <laughs> Uh, so y'all have seen a lot of these where you have the little twisty knob and you got to run it up and it's all rickety. This is just like a little handle and it just goes like that. Yeah, it's nice and solid and there's no confusion as to whether it's open or not. Because I <laughs> remember... They replace all of these with LED lights. Yep, all the um, ceiling lights, they're all 12 volt LED lights. Yep. And that one's a two stage, which I like. Mm-hmm. All right, so working our way forward. Um, there's no door separating the front from the back, but they do have this curtain here that kind of provides some privacy for, you know, changing and whatnot. Yeah, and it's loose. We could easily add, like, a magnet or some Velcro right. down the bottom just to keep it over. So, not too bad. And then you walk straight down here into where the shower's on one side. It's a nice, thick door. Not a huge shower, but most of these Class D's don't have huge showers. Yep. But it does have that curved sunlight or um, skylight, so Brian can actually still fit in there. Yep. And upgraded. This stuff is all not plastic. Mm -hmm. It's actually metal. One thing before we leave oh. the shower. Nope. On this side, in the bedroom, they add compartments here for servicing. Mm -hmm. So four little screws, this pops off. You can access all the water stuff behind. That's nice. Same down there. There's four mm -hmm. little screws that pops off. You can access all the drains. So they, they add compartments and little access panels like this because they're expecting more maintenance than normal. But that would also benefit us if something happened with the shower, we don't have to bust up the wall. We just pop the panel off. Right, that's pretty nice. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to close you in and you can do the next part. All right. Bye. So the door, there's a little magnet up there. We've seen this before. So the, the door kind of doubles as a privacy screen for the shower. And I guess if you wanted to go to the bathroom with the door open. Uh, like I said, there was one of these little path lights down here. They do upgrade all of the sinks and the faucets to stainless units. And the toilet is also upgraded to porcelain. It's not one of the little plastic ones that we don't like. So it's a foot flush. It's kind of similar to what we had in our travel trailer. So a medicine cabinet, some storage up in here. All of these cabinets, and we'll see towards the front of the coach, they're all hardwood, nice and heavy, good hinges, nice struts. And then again, one of those cool little pop-up vents. I really like that handle. So there's two towel bars in here. So if you were over here taking a shower with this door, like this, you can access these towel bars. Um, so then we'll come through 
and we'll get back to Aaron with the kitchen. And there is space up there that if you wanted to have a curtain there, Brian likes a little bit more privacy when he's in the shower. Oh yeah, you could you could put, you could put a curtain a bar. Pod, yeah. Across there, yeah. And then have I think open. with this door though, okay. you'd be fine. Who knows? Sometimes Brighton's <laughs> a little more modest. Uh -huh. But um, this has that piano hinge, so yeah. you're not taking up any extra room with those beefier hinges. Yep, and that's also when it's, this thing's bouncing down the road, it'll last a little longer. Right. So again, upgraded sink, huge. It's really nice. Just massive stainless sink with a nice little gooseneck, so not one of those mm -hmm. tiny little plastic pieces of junk. And still a lot of space back here that mm -hmm. if you were cooking, you could still keep stuff here. There's, it's not a huge um, amount of counter space, but you could always get something to cover this. So what's my favorite feature of this kitchen? Oh. Did you notice? I did. Yeah. There's no oven. No mm -hmm. oven. No useless, no tiny oven. little RV oven. No oven. They don't and even bother. It's just a range, and then you've got a nice big compartment down here. When we've been going in these older ones, I'm like, yeah, I can take it out and rebuild it, but this saves me it's the trouble. Done. Yeah. It's already done. And I think that you could probably find a convection oven this small. Either that size or it looks like there's plenty of room to, you know, make this bigger. So if we found one the size of the one we had in our rig, it would probably fit up there. Mm -hmm. And yeah. then the controls, we've seen a lot of older ones, the controls are on the hood. There's no controls there, that's just the hood. Yeah. All the controls are right here. So we've got generator, solar charging, all the tanks, all that stuff. Right. And then this huge, huge compartment up in here. Just enormous. That's basically the entire pantry. Mm -hmm. And then down here we've got, I don't know what that would be for, but we've got three little drawers I've down seen here. That in all of the rigs. There's been that little like open space there. It's like an open junk drawer. You know, I don't know. you know the first thing that would end up in there? What? Some of Ben's cars. Yes, Ben would yeah. use that as a <laughs> car garage. So under the sink here, nice big shelf right here. And then of course under here, they took the handle off of this door and it actually has hinges on both sides. So you can get underneath all of the plumbing and stuff is under there. There's also, they've kind of reinforced some of these corners. Yeah, yeah. Here and over here where you might be knocking things as you're getting yep. into it. Yep, so that's metal right there. And then here yep. next to the uh, fridge. Fridge, it's just, just a normal, normal Dometic fridge. <laughs> normal RV fridge. It's obviously gas and electric. Mm -hmm. uh, so we'll do this side super quick. There's just a tiny little compartment up here. There and are then, hooks everywhere too. There's hooks here and there's hooks in the bedroom that's yeah. already on the wall. Yep. And then nice big compartment up in here. And then kind of the same thing over on this side. Two big compartments. Mm -hmm. And then there is a outlet here with two USB ports which is nice. And then these curtains again, where they're sliding on these wooden bars. Mm -hmm. And then let's talk about the dinette. When Cruise America gets their rigs, they order them with upgrades and different things that you wouldn't typically get on um, an RV. And one of the things is this industrial commercial grade uh, fabric. It's super thick, super durable. Um, it is, this is on the dinette and on the couch, but it's just, it's so much nicer than the floral patterns that we've been finding <laughs> and some of the the just interesting patterns um it's very kind of easy with the stripes and it's also one less thing we'd have to change right and, and these i are am totally fine with that poofy things and they're in good condition yep. as well because i think because they're easy to clean you know you can just spray the stuff on them and then drag the cleaner on them uh but, but more importantly oh they have access to latch yep for um so car seats Yep, there are latch connections right here, and these mm -hmm. are big metal panels that go all the way down to the floor. Yep. And then seat belts go all the way down to the floor as well. Right. We really like that that it has the latch system. We haven't seen that on, I don't think, any of the rigs we've looked at. Mm -mm. Um, and that makes it makes me feel safer with having the car seat here, that we can attach it to a latch system. And then there's so many buckles in here, too, that... I'll be fine on the couch over here, and we've talked about this before. I think we're gonna have Tara ride in the front, mm -hmm. just so she's front facing. She has that airbag, and then I'm here, and I can kind of manage the littles and all of their unending needs. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So the couch over here, like Aaron said, it's the same fabric with a couple belts over here, and it's a normal jackknife. And sitting on it was very comfortable still; like it wasn't all worn out. And there's a ton of storage underneath it mm -hmm. too. There's no. Whoop. There are no tanks or anything under there, so there's storage under there and it jackknives out. 
Now, but over here that is the converter. Yep. Um, but it's really easy to see and know that that's there. Yeah. So it couldn't use under this booth. I don't think it could use under either booth over here. No. Because that one has okay. mesh on it. There's so much storage in this that I don't think we would even fill no. all the storage in here. No. Overhead, the mattress has the same kind of um, commercial fabric on it, and this is a huge space. All three kids were up here when we were looking at it initially, and there was space for them to all have their own kind of area. Mm -hmm. And this rig does not come with a TV, but it could easily mount here. It does have access for coax and all of those things. Yeah, right he said here. there was. Oh, it must be on the other side. Yeah, it is. It's right here. Yep. So there's coax up in here. And a and an plug, outlet. I think. Yep. So we could easily mount something up there. And this one just does not have that front window because um, notoriously they leak. And um, the guy that was Joe that was showing this to us was saying we didn't even I didn't even think about this, mm -hmm. but rocks on the road yep. break those windows all the time. So they just don't have them on their rigs. Yep. But they do have the side windows. Yeah. So there's side windows and they have that same curtain on them, and I kind of like the curtains. Yeah. Like, I think I would keep that because I love navy. Yeah. So, so speaking of curtains, there's a big curtain here that pulls mm -hmm. all the way across. Yep. And then down here you see this is the left side and the right side. Both of these curtains, they actually fold up into the cab. Mm -hmm. And there's little Velcro dots to yep. cover the windshield for when you're camped. So, so you still have access to this area yep. if you need to. And then they don't have a ladder. Um, so they've just reinforced this with some pretty heavy duty plastic, I guess. I don't know what this is. Leather maybe? It's like a big rubberized leather. leather. I don't know. I don't know, but so you can step here and then there's a handle here to get you up into the bed. Um, so one less thing to have to worry about storing yeah. um, with the ladder. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the seats up front here are still in really good condition and are pretty comfortable and everything up here is kind of basic yep pretty standard but you know lots of cup holders and, and and that sort of thing but yeah does it have a mirror oh no mirror <laughs> it's okay you're not riding up there uh, that's right i'm not, not riding up there all right so yeah. we we've, we've uh missed one really large thing yeah there's no carpet in this rig and that's awesome yeah anywhere like, anywhere not th there's none in here there's none under the dinette mm -mm. None There's none there. up in the front. That's just like a vinyl. I don't know. You could probably hose that out. Probably. There's none in the bedroom. There's no carpet anywhere. That's wonderful because carpet is gross. Yeah. But these aren't just normal floors. This floor is a marine grade tongue and groove, which helps keep any stuff from underneath coming up through it or you spilling things on it. Um, it's really easy to clean and it really looks nice too mm -hmm. and i think that we would still paint just because this is not my favorite color but i think that like a white with um with this kind of like rustic -y looking floor will look yeah. really really nice it kind of be like farmhouse yes looking. yeah mm -hmm. i could totally see this like yeah this is probably a really good option because it's 30 ish thirty thousand, you know after taxes and all right that. um it's a bit over our budget. It is a quite a bit over our but budget. But so not... much has been done to this. Yeah, it's already... So much has been done. Like, we could really... Obviously, people take these out all the time right. without doing anything to them because these are rental units. So this is good. This is, like, ready to go. Yeah. Like, we wouldn't have to do anything. We might do a couple little, you know, customizations or, like we were saying, some painting. But this is... This is nice. Mm -hmm. I never never thought about these before. Right. I figured these things just got the crap driven out of them. Mm -hmm. And then they were tons not. Tons of random people. <laughs> and then I didn't even think about them being like fleet service. They actually come with a three, uh, three month, 3,000 mile warranty on the drivetrain mm -hmm. and the rear end. Oh, and Joe also said that when anything goes wrong with the chassis, with the Ford chassis, they go to the Ford dealership and get worked on. Yep. Like. It's not some, you know. Yeah, it's not an RV shop doing it. Right. They handle all the stuff in here. And another thing he was saying, they only have like three or four types Models, of yeah. units. Mm -hmm. And their guys do all of the work on those. It's not a normal RV repair shop. Right. They're so they just know these working. Yeah, so now. they're they're just doing this stuff. Mm -hmm. So that's why everything is so well maintained. Mm -hmm. I am I am shocked. It's super clean in here. Like it whether smells we good, like Yeah, whether we get this or not. This is a fantastic option. Like mm -hmm. it really, I, I did not know. Like I was like, oh, it's a rental. You know, they probably pull them off the line when they're starting to break, mm -hmm. and they just want to get rid of them. And it's better than going to auction. But this is an awesome, it's very nice. awesome unit. So 
yeah. got something to think about now. Yeah. yeah. Do you ever rented from Cruise America or any of them? I know there's a couple other ones out there, um, but if you've ever rented one of these, let us know what you think. Yeah. I mean, I we haven't driven this one around at all. Uh, if we want to come back and you know start talking about buying one, then of course we'll test drive it and test all the right, systems right, and stuff. Right. But we just didn't know what we were coming into. Yeah, this is. And uh, hashtag not sponsored. No, not we're sponsored. We're just at, at all. Cruise America because yep. one of you guys suggested it. So yeah, Greg, Greg wrote up. us a comment, and mm -hmm. uh, we were not asked to come up here. No. I just you know blindly called Joe yesterday and said, hey, do you have someone a lot? He's like, yeah, come on up. So yep. we came up and we were very impressed. Absolutely. Yeah. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, stay tuned to see if we end up in this rig or if we keep looking. <laughs> yep. <laughs> we'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.